Hey guys, it's Mike here. I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron and I got a few things I want to share with you today. I just want to uh, welcome you back to our channel. Thank you for always being so faithful and supportive of everything. But uh, we got some toys we want to share with you and then we got some things in the mail. Uh, recently, well it hadn't been all that recent but it was back at Father's Day I got this pan for a Father's Day present and I just haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, it's a 10 and a quarter inch or 10 and a half inch lodge grill pan. It's got the uh, uh, ridges on it where you could actually have grill marks for a steak or if you put, uh, you know, hamburgers in or whatever, you could have grill marks on it. And uh, if you were cooking something fatty, it'd keep it up out of the grease or whatever. And then uh, recently, uh, uh, Eric from Cast Iron Chaos was on my channel. We interviewed him and he reminded me that uh, Cracker Barrel had this 10 inch uh, Lodge cast iron skillet uh, that says United We Stand on it. It's got the eagle on it and it's got five stars on it. And um, well, there actually, there's more stars than that. But anyway, it says United We Stand. It's a signature piece, and I've been wanting to uh, add that to my collection. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to get those all cleaned up. We'll be make making some videos of that, showing that. But also, yesterday, Teresa, uh, my wife, went out to her dad's, and uh, she knew that her mother had some cast iron pieces, and she got to looking around. And she found this number 7A Burlington Stove and Range uh, seven slot corn pan, uh, corn stick pan. And of course it's kind of dirty and a little rusty and everything, which it's been put up for a good while. But anyway, we're gonna clean this dude up and get it in good shape. And then also she had been telling me for a long time that her mother uh, had a deep dish skillet that she always cooked chicken in for them. Of course, there was four kids and of course her, uh, Miss Kay and Mr. Johnny. And so Teresa brought me this number eight vintage lodge three notch uh, deep chicken fryer. And so, I mean, you can see it's got uh, some, some burn on stuff there where uh, grease may have spilled over whatever. So we're gonna clean this dude up and get it cleaned up in good shape and everything. But I mean, this is a vintage cast iron piece. It's slick on the bottom and it also come with a lid. And uh, so these are always handy. This is a 10 and a quarter number eight lid with the knuckle busters on it, or actually they're really called basters. And, uh, but I call them knuckle busters cause you get your knuckles up against it, you'll bust your knuckles. So anyway, we've got that from Miss Kay and Teresa brought that. So we're gonna get this dude cleaned up and uh, try to get it in good shape too as well. So looking forward to that. But also I got some stuff in the mail recently too. I got a letter from Richard over at Cajun R New Barbecue. And we recently interviewed him on our live show on Sunday night, sent me a thank you card. And inside that card, it says, thank you for your support, Richard. And then it has bones and uh, parentheses. But he also sent me a sticker and we certainly appreciate that. We've got stickers that we try to send out to everyone that we interview. And uh, if you got a sticker you want to trade with me, just reach out to me. We'll be glad to get you a sticker also. So uh, appreciate that, Richard. Appreciate you uh, sending that to us and also coming on to our show. Then also when I got home, I got the, uh, went to the mailbox and I had this little package right here in the mailbox. And uh, this comes from the Root Boy Cooks, oh Sal. We recently interviewed Sal as well. And so Sal has sent me uh, some root rub, he calls it. Uh, number one uh, root rub is for beef and bison. And the ingredients are kosher salt, black pepper, garlic, onion, thyme, rosemary, and chives. So number one root boy rub for beef and bison. Number two is uh, chicken and pork rub and it has kosher salt, black pepper, uh, onion, smoked pep, paprika, boys and girls, smoked paprika, chili powder, cumin, mustard, and ginger. So Sal, we appreciate that. Old root boy Slim, root boy, 
uh, cooked, so uh, he sent us a four pack, so we appreciate that, two bottles of each. We'll certainly get that together and start putting that on something for sure. And uh, really appreciate that. Guys, we appreciate you always being faithful to our channel. Uh, we really enjoy our Sunday nights of interviewing people like Sal and Richard and different ones. Many of you watching have been on our show, but we're always looking for new people. If you know someone uh, that might would like to be interviewed and have a good time on Sunday night, then just uh, you know send us a recommendation. Or if you or someone that uh, that you know personally. Uh, just send them over to us. We'll be glad to uh, reach out to them and try to get them lined up. But anyway, we just wanted to share with these, uh, share these things with you. We're pretty excited about our new toys. We've got some work to do. We've got to get the things cleaned up and uh, straightened up, seasoned up. And uh, we're certainly going to use Sal's rub and everything. And so anyway, hey, guys, we just wanted to share this with you. I hope you're having a great Sunday. It's, uh, it's really nice here in Arkansas. And so our prayer is that you guys have a great day. And we'll be looking forward to talking to you again soon. Y'all take care. It's Mike, old skillet head, a.k.a. Mr. Cast Iron. We'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.